Hi, let's talk today about your negative thoughts and your overthinking and thinking all the time and thinking too much. If this is a problem for you, listen. My name is Gudrun and I'm a dance and hypnotherapist and I help women to become the best version of themselves, the version they deserve to be and the version they dream to be. So, negative thoughts, we all have them, but some people, they get stuck into them. It's like they feel like a, in a negative circle, like it's never stopping, it's never, never stopping. So this can have several reasons. It can be like a trauma where the subconscious mind is still on a running mode to try to figure it out, to try to find a solution, to find, try to find a conclusion of what this was and also to prevent you from suffering in the future. So when you will recognize the situation and know what to do. So sometimes this raising of the mind might be this coming from a trauma somewhere and you are still raising, it's still raising. So you have managed probably to do, I don't know, things where you can calm down, sleep, hopefully sleep, and perhaps not. Perhaps you have this raising mind and you can come, become addicted to this. And of course, this then has an effect of ev on everything, on your immune system, on your sleep, on your well-being. And perhaps you have forgotten for so long how it feels to be in peace, peace of mind. So now what we all know is that we can do mindfulness and meditation. But typically, if you are a person who has this running mind, this overrunning mind, sitting down, doing nothing, will just make you think more. Can you relate? So, I want to give you uh, today something for this mind, something that you can do so this raising mind is not dominating you. You are not the slave of it. And there are so many techniques, perhaps you have already explored them. So here are the three things I want you to try out. The first thing, of course, is dancing. As I'm a dance teacher and dance therapist, this is my go-to favorite thing. But it's not just dancing, dancing like this. You take a music, which you love, which makes you already move like this. Nobody's watching and you dance like crazy. You dance, you dance until you are completely exhausted thing like and also imagine, tell a story, imagine imagine a story with the music, take a music where you could imagine something and it can be, it must be, should be intense. Of course you can have other type of dances, you can go to dance salsa or whatever it is, dancing will with the help of music and perhaps of community help you for a moment to get out of your mind. The second thing, cold shower. <laughs> cold, of course, ice bath, even better. You know this from the Iceman, hopefully. Cold shower is already very good, but not in any way. You don't go in the cold shower like, oh God, no. What you need to do, and it takes practice. It's not that if you could just do it like this. You need to breathe and calm down completely. Calm down. Calm down completely until you are present in your body. And then let the body step in the cold shower. Feel it and don't, don't breathe like, oh my God, and don't get tense. Be as relaxed as you can, even if it is one second of cold shower this moment. And it might take practice. The other thing, next thing, of course, is breathing. I recommend highly the Wim Hof breathing technique, very easy to do. You have, uh, you find it on YouTube. It's inhaling 30 times, uh, very big inhaling and letting go for exhale. And then you stop on empty lungs and you hold the breath. And as long as you can, and this all, and then you inhale and, and squeeze everything into your head. This is very powerful, but these, the two last things, at least, they need your practice. What it does when you practice it, you get better at it. So if it is completely 
impossible for you or if you are freaking out as soon as I would tell you to sit down and do nothing for three hours, if you are freaking out, perhaps it's good to have some help. Perhaps it's good to have some help because you are not meant to be the slave of your thoughts. You are not meant to have negative thoughts running around in your head all day long. So in my next video, I'll give you another practice which is beautiful and which you will probably love. Let me know in the comments if you are suffering from negative thoughts too often and what this does to you. And as always, if you need my help, just take an appointment. I'm there for you. Thank you for watching. See you next video.